17th is actually the 35th birthday for the hospital. 35 years ago. something that we're going to try to celebrate throughout the year. And as we've been planning for this, we've gone back to see uh, how many here today were here in 1977. And we still have 13 people uh, there in our organization in some shape or form. Yes. Uh, Steve Cotton, <laughs> and some of you are already looking at a few of them. Uh, is Steve Cochran here? works in radiology. He's one of our techs back there. He's been around since 77. Pat Jordan still works part-time as a recovery nurse. I don't know if she's here, but her husband, Dean, is, was a CRNA here in the state and that, and that was here for a number of years. Um, Margaret Boydston, Margaret here. She's a unit secretary. They probably are retired and they're further upstairs working. Uh, Janie Ray. Where's Janie? She's got it. Uh, one of our discharge planners, uh, Linda Cox, Linda, uh, who works back in ACU now. She started out in our pharmacy a number of years in our pharmacy. And Debbie Rogers. Yeah. Debbie is our vice president of quality, but she started out here as the director of medical records. I was team. <laughs> Paula Irwin is a coder, has been a coder here for 35 years. <laughs> Gary Brown, I know Gary's going to be here. He's on the phone. He's on the phone. <laughs> Let's, when he walks up, everyone clap. <laughs> Gary and also his wife, Julia, who works in our lab. Uh, and then we've got two volunteers that have been here, Pat Carver. Pat had been, uh, was actually a charter member of our auxiliary. And Helen Sullivan is, attended the second meeting of the auxiliary, so she's almost a charter member. So I think we'll probably uh, count her too. And then we have two physicians on staff, who you, you all could probably guess. Uh, Dr. Cindy Norman and Dr. Robert Wheaton. Both of them. So we'll be celebrating all these individuals here and want to hear their stories and, and all the things that they've experienced while they've been here. Some fun facts we dug up on how much our hospitals changed and all the changes really in our society. In 1977, the average length of stay for a patient was 6.2 days. Now that's 3.2. So the time you spend in the hospital is almost cut in half. It's really a bad thing for most people. In the ER, in 77, we had 7,800 visits to our emergency room. This year, we expect about 32,000. The surgeries, we did approximately... A Who lived here 
talk about how proud he was of this hospital and how great he thought it was for, for our community. He always supported this place and talked about it was the place to go. Uh, Al Donnell was the administrator, and Dr. Lindley, Dr. E.C. Lindley, was the chief of staff. So it's been, a, a, I think, a great 35 years for our hospital. There's been lots of changes. The original building that, when it opened in 77, it was in the medical center building, and there's still parts of it out there. It's just grown up all around it and surrounded by lots of other things now. Uh, we've added services. We've certainly, I think, we need to do a better job today of taking care of the community than we did 35 years ago. But I think the legacy of Dunn Regional Hospital is certainly uh, its focus on and our focus on taking care of the patients in the community, figuring out ways to meet those needs and being ready for the family. So with that, I want to thank everyone for coming. We've got, I think our food and nutrition department did a great job on that cake. That's a long <laughs> So I want to thank everybody for coming. Thanks very much.